I can see space. Okay. Just kidding. No, you can. <laughs> In this video, we are going to unbox the new Radian Raptor 61 telescope uh, from Radian Telescopes NOPT in partnership with Astro Backyard. And on the same night, we're going to take it out in the backyard and try our first light with it on a full moon night, as always. And uh, we're going to show you guys what our first light with this telescope looks like. Here we go. Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to unbox uh, Astro Backyard's telescope, so which he made in, in partnership with uh, OPT and Region Telescopes. So uh, we're going to see what's inside and uh, yeah. We are not sure what to expect. Obviously, we've seen snippets like you guys have, but this is us opening up. I'm like coming straight from work. <laughs> We're here. We're doing it right now. And it also came with a, uh, a poster, which the mailman kind of had fun with. Like, I don't know, we kind of destroyed it, but yeah. the poster is really nice. It's a, uh, I don't want to hold it. Ooh. It's a radiant telescope Raptor anatomy poster. So it shows you the telescope and it shows you everything uh, in terms of size, like uh, dimensions, and every little thing you can find on a telescope, like a focuser, and uh, you know a bunch of stuff. So it's really nice to have. It shows you pretty much everything. So it's it's a really nice uh, addition to it. It's pretty I cool. Mean, if you needed some more decor in your house, <laughs> yeah, so it's a really nice uh, astro engineering decor. All right, so now let's go over the telescope itself. So let's put it in the center here. All right. Ooh, look at that. For those who collect light in the dark. That's a nice um, first sight. It's pretty clever. cool. Clever, very clever. All right, let's see. Uh, it's pretty light, actually. So this is a very small telescope. I think it's about 275 uh, millimeter in terms of focal length, which is very small. Uh, it's the smallest telescope we ever had. And uh, it's really interesting because you can get some really large targets with it. And you can go watch uh, Trevor Jones's video about it, of course. I'm sure you already saw it, but um, it's, it shows you pretty much uh, a few examples uh, of what it took with this telescope. And it's pretty interesting. All right. So here is what we first see. This is... The backpack. <laughs> I like how I like how everything is black, even the uh, bubble wrap. It's very cool. It's like matte, you know. And even even this is black. Stylish, very it's stylish. Cool. It has a zipper on the front and on the sides. Damn, it's so small and compact. I love it. It's got little from Radian mesh pockets. Radian. This is I'm guessing a from pocket. an extra pocket. Yep. Roomy. And I'm sure inside is going to be the telescope. <gasps> Super nice to have. Like you, when you buy a telescope, you never get that. Like it's crazy. What if we open it and there's nothing in there? <laughs> like a sock or something. Oh. Dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Just <gasps> kidding. Of course, there's something in there. It's so tiny. Look at that. Wow. <gasps> like we saw a bunch of videos, but like it's so tiny. Like. Lovely. In, it's so. Oh, it's so neat. It's much nicer than I thought. It would be. It's it's got a heft to it for sure. I, I didn't expect that. It's and so I love how like mad it is and the Radian logo is like glossy. So what do we have here? We have a telescope. Telescope. We have a, uh, what's this called? Microfiber cloth. There you go. Uh, what else do we have? We have some, uh, oh, a dovetail. So this is a dovetail for uh, most beginner mounts, I would say. Uh, like for example, the EQ6R or um, the Atlas mount. And I think it comes with another dovetail for yes. uh, other mounts, which I'm guessing. Raptor Rundown. Very neat, very cool QR code. Very nice. And $20 off your next radium purchase. <laughs> Here is a, the cap for the reducer, uh, which I'm guessing. So the, I think the reducer was already built into it. Mm -hmm. This is. Um, the helix, I think it's called. Well, let's... Let us refer to <laughs> the poster. This thing here. The, uh, the hex rings. The hex rings. Helix. Why am I saying helix? The, the hex rings. Uh, I don't really know Cheating how to use that, actually. No snag ring lock. Yeah, this is kind of brand oh, new to me. Okay, yeah, it goes around. Okay, so yeah. Um, so the ring here 
goes around the telescope and then you attach the dovetail to the ring. Oh, I see it now. Yep. There's two rings here. Yep, the screws go right here. So you have two rings. Very nice. And you can also buy the uh, a second version that has a EAF, so an electronic automatic focuser included. And this one here, we don't have it. But if you did buy it, uh, you will have a, a focuser here, uh, electronic focuser already included. So we have a second dovetail here. So as you can see, this is for most beginner mounts, pretty mm -hmm. much. And this is for like the mighty mount or uh, the bigger mounts. Or so that's great. It's, that means it's adjustable. That means whatever mount you have, most yeah. likely it will fit, which is amazing news. And I think I, I complained about something in the past where I was like, this Did scope you? should have, yeah. This oh yeah, you're right. I remember that. Like it should have come with scopes the, never come with two dove plate, dovetails. Right, it never this comes really with nice. two dovetails, so that if you did have a different mount, then you know a beginner one, for example, you, know, you got to order a second one. So that's really neat. That's a really great I thing, agree. especially for people who are starting out and they would like to, you know, eventually upgrade. You already have the thing. Twenty dollars off your next region purchase. I already said that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So. We have uh, the telescope here and the backpack. It's very nice. It's very like soft on the inside. Looks adjustable, which is really cool because we like that. Um, the telescope fits perfectly with the front of the scope here and then the focuser part in the back. And everything fits in pretty nice. I like the way that it feels. It's very different. And we also have this other... Oh! oh. oh. Ah. That's a surprise. Hold up for a second. <laughs> In this magic pocket that I just opened. <gasps> Is that more? <laughs> Your stocking has been stuffed and I have opened it. That's nice. This is really awesome. Actually, it's a magnet. It's a oh, magnet, you so guys. Oh, so good. That's so cool. So you can stick it on your fridge and you'll have a lunar calendar for the 2020 That's year. really nice. Here. That's incredible. You could stick it on the back of your car. The car? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you could. But it's really, really neat. That's awesome that they included that. So you know exactly when to capture the light on the darkest nights. It's indicated. That's in perfect. Blue. I don't want to take too long of your time. This was just a quick unboxing video. We're going to actually use this telescope uh, soon, hopefully, and uh, give you guys our first thoughts and our first images with the telescope. All right, guys. So if you want to buy yourself a nice uh, Radiant uh, Raptor 61, uh, we'll have a link below and you can check it out and we'll try to get some images soon uh, on Instagram and website and stuff. And of course we would like to thank OPT for sending this to us and to Trevor Jones who designed this. Incredible work, impeccable. Yeah, that's, you guys are that's pretty awesome. good. That's so, a really nice design. I love it so much. Thank you for sending that over. Thank you Trevor Jones for creating this. All right, so we'll see you guys next time and clear Thanks, skies. Guys. So two things I forgot to mention real quick. Uh, first, the telescope contains a filter drawer, kind of, so you can actually screw in a filter uh, in there. It's a bit tricky to get in because if you have big fingers, it's kind of hard, but it's possible. So we used our Triad Ultra filter for tonight's test. And second, uh, there was no way for us to actually balance the telescope properly with the actual dovetail that came with the telescope. So luckily we had a second one and were able to balance with that. So just make sure you have uh, a longer one if you think you will need it. And so, as usual, uh, every time we try something new, it has to be a full moon night, I'm not sure why, but we tried uh, imaging the Flaming Star Nebula, which was really nice because it fits really, really well inside the field of view, and we actually had to crop out a lot of stuff because the moon was so bright and so close to the, to the object that uh, there was so much gradient, so we uh, struggled. So uh, I kind of struggled on pics inside for a while, but here is our first light with the telescope. Uh, I like it. I think it's about five hours in total. And I really want to try again without the moon being up. But um, yeah, here we go. So here is the starless version. And here is the, the version with stars with the Radian Raptor 61 and ASI 071MC plus the Radian Triad Ultra filter. <laughs>